From a human nature point of view, the thing you do a lot gets easy for you. You go to work every day, somebody asks you, how do you do it, man? You've been doing it for 10 years, right? You say, I just, it's just, no big deal, it's just work, just do it. When you've been going to work for two days, you used to wake up at 11.30, go to sleep at like 2 in the morning, and then all of a sudden you got a job, you got to get up at 5, get there by 7, right? In the first week, is it hard? It is, after 10 years, does it get easy? It does, doesn't it? It's a matter of conditioning yourself. And also the person who thinks it's very hard. This is a very important point. The person who thinks it's very, very hard. You know what happens to them? They end up failing and losing their job. When they're always saying, man, it's so hard to get to work on time. It's so hard to get to work on time. I can't do this, it's too early. When they keep telling themselves that, guess what? Do they get to work early? No. It's called efficacy in psychology. Allah says about this person, ease comes, but what does he have to do? He has to accept the fact that he has to do this. He has to accept that fact. He can't complain about it anymore. Where, where are the words that he accepts the fact? وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَ He confirmed the truth in the ultimate good, then we made ease. So you have to accept reality. Once you accept it, I have to be there at work. Now I have to take actions accordingly. Then it'll happen. When you begin with a defeatist attitude, man, this is hard. It's never going to become easy. When you come at it with the strong attitude, Allah will make easy. It'll be, feel easy to you, and Allah on top of that will make it easy for you. Subhanallah. So it's an, it's an incredible lesson we're learning about our change in attitude and obedience to Allah Azza wa Jal. We find many, many places in Qur'an where Allah mentions making ease. For example, one more place I should mention before we go on. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا Allah intends to make life light upon you. When Allah gives you instructions, they're not there to make things hard for you. The point of them is to make things easier, to lighten your burden. But you're created weak. You think you can make ease for yourself. You're not going to spend when somebody else tries to spend for the path of Allah. Say, what are you doing, man? You need the savings. These are bad times. Not only are you cheap, you're telling other people to be cheap. This is also explained in Surah Ali Imran. But here Allah says, Man bakhila, who became cheap, was taghna. Look at this. He became cheap in giving others. But when you don't give, where are you keeping the wealth? For yourself. And once you keep wealth for yourself, you know what you start feeling? I don't need anybody. I can handle it. Right? Why does he not give wealth? Because he thinks he needs it for himself. Now when he keeps it for himself, he feels superior. Wastagna. He feels reckless. Istighna. To feel not in need of anyone. I don't need anybody. I can do everything myself. I can do everything myself. Where did this attitude develop? What was the source problem? Being cheap with wealth, hoarding wealth among, within yourself. And this is istighna. Allah Azza wa says, in another surah He says, وَاسْتَغْنَ Allah. Allah, they had the attitude that they don't need anyone, then Allah developed that attitude towards them. That Allah doesn't need them. وَاللَّهُ غَنِيٌّ hamid. And Allah is truly the one who has no need. He's ghani. Everybody else can have the attitude, but they really do need. They are in need.